Hey everyone. Okay, so I'm jumping ahead to start with this review, but I gotta talk about the flashback into Yakuto's past because I definitely called the more surface level details about Yakuto's whole village being a clan of black dragons, but it is in the finer details where Mashima veered off from my initial predictions. So, as for example, we learn through this flashback that Yakuto's father was one of God's enforcers, and that the reason God destroyed the village to begin with is not because he saw the black dragons as a threat, but simply simply because of, 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 of Yasuma's insubordination and refusal to offer up his wife, Yakuto's mother, as a sacrificial offering. And this is where things get a little bit interesting, because throughout the whole look into the past, it does feel like my theory of the Lucifer allegory does seem to start taking shape because th there is a singular panel and a moment before Yasuma is killed where he simply asks, who are you? And I initially took that as, as Yasuma had been seen God's true form be before he died, but the panel immediately after shows God as we know him laughing maniacally. So I don't know if that's Mashima just covering his tracks until he's ready to make the reveal and we're supposed to assume Iyazuma saw just a brief glimpse of God before God's true form before going back to the form we know him as, or if it was Iyazuma grasping onto, onto those last desperate gasp of faith before dying, but, and, and the thing is, what makes this kind of even more weird to me, and th this might just be me be thinking way too much into it, is that, like, it's it's one of those, it's, like, throughout this whole flashback, one thing that does kind of stick out, more or less, is that, and especially with, with, with when it comes to, when it comes to the confrontation with God and, and Yasma, is that Yasma himself, in this, in this flashback, he seems to be perfectly acquainted, he seems to be acquainted acquainted enough with God to, to have formed like a bond, a friendship, a bond with him. So it's like every, every time, every time we, 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 we see Yakuto saying, who are you? You are, are, are who are you? What, 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 what's going on? Who, who, are, are you the real God? Like in, in the context of all these questions, it feels like he's perfectly aware that, that this person isn't God, but at the same time, it's like he, he, he also knows but at the same time, he dresses as if, yes, this is also God. So it's like, it's almost, it's, it's almost less so my, it almost seems like less so my, my, my theory about the, at the, at the allegory and more so like something has kind of warped God's mind almost. I, I, I don't, again, I don't know which path Mashman is taking with this, but it's like, he, he's going uh it does feel like he's trying to, he's trying to like, He's he's trying to sub, he's trying to subvert our expect not to subvert our expectations necessarily, but he's trying to like 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 set up some kind of like he's 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 trying to he's trying to he's trying to set up some kind of some kind of alternate path for us to in order to throw us off the trail or something. And I don't know which is which here, um, but 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 whatever. But taking all that out out of the picture, whatever the case may be. Uh, the story obviously ends with Yakuto firmly resolved to kill the man he perceived to be uh, perceives to be a fake god. And the one thing I did like about this chapter is how it shows before seeing his parents murder, Yakuto was more or less of the faithful. He did believe in the will of God that he loves and protects those who believe in him. But one incident basically shook his faith completely, and. Yeah, although the cir although the circumstances can be different from person to person, that 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 pretty much is isn't too that whole idea of uh, of shaken faith. Yeah, it isn't too far off from real life. Like we all have those moments of, we all have those moments in our lives where it's like, where where we start to where we start to question our faith, our our religion, whatever else have you. And yeah, in this case, like like when it comes to Yakuto, he had a full blown. I'm going to kill God moment kind of thing. Um, now, outside of that, the rest of the chapter is mostly just setting the stage of where we go from here by first introducing the us to class F's new teacher, Saru, which was basically just, just a full-on on monkey. 
And I'm not going to lie, I am getting a little bit of eyes wolf vibes from this guy in the sense where he is an absolute hard ass in enforcing the rules of the school. But there are brief but subtle glimpses where I can maybe seeing where I can maybe see him becoming an ally over time, and not even publicly, but more and more we'll see him maybe turning a blind eye to their activities. Granted, <clears throat> granted, I'm also prepared to be wrong given how Mashima does have a tendency to do his own thing whenever he feels like dabbling in the tropes. Like whenever he feels like he's dabbling in the tropes, he kind of just he, he goes his own route rather than doing what others have done. So. It could be possible that Saru doesn't even become an ally here, but it, I'm getting that vibe too. Um, with that said, upon Yakuta's return to the dungeon, we learn two things. The first is that a large chunk of his power has been stripped away from him by Lilith, so now the only part of Yakuto that can trans that can transform into a dragon is his arm. And yeah, this is one of those narrative points I was waiting for before. I was waiting for because ever since his ability to transform into a full-on dragon was revealed, I was thinking, okay, this is too powerful. Mashima's gonna have to nerf this in some way in order, in order for the story to actually continue. And yeah, having it to where <clears throat> Yukuto can only transform his arm, like it, it kind of fits just with what we, we basically know about all of his characters that. All of Mashima's characters that all of them have that one specific power where th that's transferred into his arm, into a fist, whatever else. Like it'll, and so it'll be interesting to see how Yakuto utilizes this. But in Yakuto's case, it'll be interesting to see how he utilizes this handicap in combat, though. Um, of course, the other big reveal is that Yakuto says that there's a book called Car's Velocity that contains the knowledge to kill God, and honestly. Until I know more about this girl that that seems to be that seems to be a supposed ally for Yakuto, I am treating every supposed lead she gives Yakuto with a grain of salt. Like something about her just screams, "I do not trust you." Like I'm sure, I'm sure this is a character that can be in some way trusted, but at the same time, like yeah, I I, I still don't trust you. I I need more information about you, kind of thing. Like like tell me more about you. What what's your what's your backstory? What what's what's where where do you hail from? Like again, I need whole total information about this character. Um, but I'll I'll even go a step further in saying I love how the chapter is continuing the theme of the characters having their own agency and saying, look, we got her own ambitions and our own goals. So if your little revenge quest threatens that, then then we want nothing to do with it. What with what you're with what you're doing? I'm and I'm sure for some. It 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 was a li it's it's a little annoying having characters like this that refuse to support Yakuto outright. But I do like the idea that there is that he is having to gradually earn their trust and really makes things clear that even if they do come around eventually, this is still a different world and different roles than something like Fairy Tail Eden Zero, which again I do appreciate. And it's not like they're refusing. And the thing is, it's not like their refusal is outrun reasonable either. They do understand the danger that they are that they're headed into a complete suicide mission if they choose to they choose to ally with Yukudo. So it's not like it's not worth getting ourselves killed unless you know that what you're what you're fighting for and you can win, even if it's that you know you can win. And and I do like how for right now Frey is the only one who truly does support Yukudo because she's the only one with with a stake in this fight and the only one who wants to wants to kill who wants to wants to kill God and everyone who associated with him because of what happened with her sister? So yeah, um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I got for this review. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and all this crunch roll, be sure notification bell, the subscribe button, and just share it around, guys. Dark Knight of signing off. Later, everyone.